good evening. I uh, would like to welcome you to uh, the regularly scheduled meeting of the City of Greer Planning Commission uh, for uh, December the 18th, uh, 2023. If there's anyone uh, on the board that will need to recuse themselves uh, from any of the matters that are before us tonight, you'll need to file a recusal form and uh, step down from the uh, desk whenever that is called. I believe that's going to affect two members tonight. All right, moving on, uh, meeting uh, minutes from our November meeting. I trust everybody's had a chance to look at those. Do we have any additions, uh, some, some subtractions, discussion, comments? Make a motion to approve. We have a motion for approval. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Let's vote. Ms. Jones? Yes. Mr. Asserno? Yes. Mr. Lavender? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Booker? Yes. Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Holland? Yes. All right, moving on to the public hearing. Uh, during this time, we will open and close the public hearing. For each request uh, that is before us tonight, we will start with staff giving the basic information for each of the requests, followed by the applicant presenting just the uh, basic information um, about their uh, particular uh, piece of business. Uh, after that, uh, anyone in the audience that would like to speak for or against that particular piece of business will need to come here to the podium, state your name and address for the record. Um, we are recording audio and video in this room, and uh, we'll ask you to keep your comments to three minutes. Um, we don't have a large crowd tonight, but uh, if uh, there's more than one person here to discuss the same matter, if your neighbor has said exactly verbatim what you're going to say, uh, it's probably best if we don't hear it twice. It just keeps the meeting moving that much quicker. Um, so uh, with that said, we will uh, open the public hearing for final development plan 23-12. All right. All right. First case is FDP 23-12. The applicant is McCutcheon Engineering Associates and the address is off of Kist and Gin House Road. Parcel ID number for the record is 5-35-00-057.03. Parcel is currently zoned DRD Design Review District. And the request is for final development plan approval. Uh, the final development plan, this shows 153 townhomes and 44 single family homes. And that concludes staff's presentation. All right, do we have the applicant here? Walden Jones, McCutch Engineering, 898 West St. John Street, Spartanburg. Ramsey Rowe here with, yes, with well. Howard Road Investments, Winnie and I, South Converse. So Sorry. I guess earlier this year, maybe last year, we presented this as far as the annexation rezoning into the city. Pretty much this is the development. Not much has changed. Actually, actually we went down in density because we added an amenity lot. So I forget how many number of units we lost, but it's um, pretty much the plan. So. All right. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak for or against final development plan 23-12? All right, seeing none, we will close the public hearing for final development plan 23-12, and we will move on to uh, RZ 23-12. Okay, the next case, RZ 23-12. The applicant is Yarborough Properties, LLC. And the subject property is located at 122 Sunset Avenue. Parcel ID number is G0050001031000. Property is currently zoned SN Suburban Neighborhood. The request is to rezone to TN Traditional Neighborhood. And the purpose of the rezoning is to subdivide the parcel, creating two lots. An aerial of the subject property. The green represents SN suburban neighborhood. The purple is rural residential and the gray is railroad right of way. Future land use designation is traditional neighborhood. An image of the existing site and that concludes staff's presentation. All right, thank you. Uh, applicant. I just want to cut that large lot. You will uh, state your name and address for the record, please. Uh, Brian Yarborough, uh, 208 Holly Lane in Greer. Uh, I want to take this large lot, just over 15,000 square feet, 
divided into two lots about 7,600 square feet. Most every other lot on the street is 7,500 square feet. It'd be kind of like two cul-de-sac style lots. All right, thanks, sir. Is there anyone here that would like to speak for or against RZ 23-12? Seeing none, we will close the public hearing for RZ 23-12. And we will open the public hearing for RZ 23-13. Okay, the applicant for this case is TMC <coughs> Development, LLC. And the addresses are 108 and 116 Brown Street. Parcel ID numbers are G00300901300. And G00300901700. The request is to rezone from SN suburban neighborhood to TN traditional neighborhood. And the purpose of the rezoning is to split each lot into two. An aerial image of the parcels. Current zoning map shows suburban neighborhood in light green. Uh, the blue color is DRD design review district and the orange is CG commercial general. Future land use designation is traditional neighborhood. Um, these surveys show the proposed subdivisions of each parcel, creating four total, and an image of each existing site. And that concludes the presentation. All right, thank you. Do we have the applicant present? My name is Michael Short. My address is 184 Chapman Road, Greenville, South Carolina. Um, I'm available to answer any questions, but... Um, our thought is that dividing these lots will, will be in keeping with the existing neighborhood, with the existing size lots. Um, that's what we're seeking. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak for or against RZ23-13? All right. Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing for RZ23-13, and we'll open the public hearing for RZ23-14. Okay. For this case, the applicant is Angel Cardona, and the address is 501 New Woodruff Road. Parcel ID number for the record is 9-05-02-009.00. Parcel is currently zoned CG Commercial, Commercial General, and the request is to rezone to MD Medium Density Residential. The intent of the rezoning is to transition to a residential district in order to restore the existing buildings which were previously used as residential rentals. Here's an image of the parcel. Current zoning map shows CG commercial general in light green, rural residential in purple, medium density residential in light yellow, and unzoned Spartanburg County in that gray. Future land use designations. Designations are traditional neighborhood in yellow and mixed employment in blue. And here is an image of the existing site and the two residential um, structures on the site. And that concludes Steph's presentation. Okay, thank you. Do we have the applicant? Angel Cardona, 128 Sheldon Drive in Sparnberg. Um, our plan is to just keep using those two residential places, which um, don't have any electricity on them right now, but they're um, close to being done. Um, and uh, land is gonna be, be split up between family members and more buildings on it, maybe two to three, but that's still undecided. And there's current, I'm currently doing other projects. Um, I can provide house plans for next time just to get a better idea of what would be on there. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone here that would like to speak for or against RZ 23 14? All right, seeing none, we will close the public hearing for RZ 23 14. That will conclude the public hearing for tonight. Uh, we will now move on to new business. During this time, uh, staff will give the uh, complete rundown of the uh, applicants that are before us. And then we will have the applicant come back to the podium. And if there's any questions of the board or uh, if we have questions for staff, uh, that will take place at that time. Uh, just a reminder, uh, we are making a recommendation to city council. We are not the final decision maker today. Um, so council will meet on these matters, I'm assuming, at their next meeting. 
Um, yes, January 9th. January 9th. So there, there's, there's not going to be a meeting next week because of Christmas. Okay, so January the 9th will be the next time City Council meets in this room, uh, barring anything weird happening, this is the room they meet in. And um, so that's when these matters will come before City Council. Um, so at this time, we will open the new business for final development plan 23-12. Give Mr. Jones time to step away. Hey, again, the final development plan. Planning Commission held a public hearing and recommended approval for the zoning of the property on September 19th, 2022, in accordance with the guidelines set forth in the Unified Development Ordinance and Land Development Regulations. Staff supports the request, and all comments from other agencies and departments in the city must also be met prior to full site development plan approval. Jones, do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, sir. Have any questions of the applicant or of staff? Just to clarify, this is now falling under the new UDOs? That is correct. It was submitted prior to UDO adoption. But it is now subject to the new UDOs? No. That's what I'm asking. Is it? Oh, I apologize. Um, as far as just the guidelines for the final development plan procedure with needing a planning commission hearing, that's the guidelines this is still following. Okay. But the uh, development review portion is for the zoning ordinance. Right. Okay. All right. Do we have any questions of staff or uh, applicant? Well, I'm going to observe that there are nowhere near enough parking places, but since I guess I probably voted for this thing the first time it came along, I'm going to stay on. Stay away from that. We actually have more than ample enough. I think there's three spots per uh, townhome unit, which is two, I believe it's, let's see, two spots per townhome unit, plus we have an additional 33 guest spaces. Good man. <laughs> I don't hear that. All right. Any further questions of the applicant or staff? We have a recommendation. Move to recommend, approve. Whatever. All right. We have a motion for uh, approval. Second. We have a second. Ms. Jones. Yes. Mr. Aserno. Yes. Mr. Lavender. Yes. Mr. Booker. Yes. Mr. Lamb. Yes. Mr. Holland. Yes. All right. Uh, we'll give Mr. Jones time to come back and. All right, um, we'll now move on to new business for RZ23-12. Okay, again, this parcel is located at 122 Sunset Avenue. The request is to rezone to TN, traditional neighborhood. Current zoning, future land use, and the site as it exists today. Surrounding land uses are residential, railroad right-of-way, and Century Park. The request is compatible with the surrounding land uses, the future land use designation, and the lot sizes in this neighborhood vary significantly. Therefore, staff supports the request and recommends approval. All right, thank you. Do we have any questions about this for the applicant? Let's we'll see the overview again, please. Yeah, okay. This one? Yeah, well, no, back with a lot, so I just, just got good. Okay. Make a motion for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second for approval. Let's vote. Ms. Jones? Yes. Mr. Aserno? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Booker? Yes. Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Holland? Yes. All right. Contact staff for next steps. Um, we will now move <coughs> on to new business for RZ23-13. Hey, these parcels are located at 108 and 116 Brown Street, and the request is to rezone both to traditional neighborhood, again, the aerials and current zoning, uh, the proposed subdivision of creating four new lots, the existing sites, 
Surrounding land use is all residential. The request is compatible with surrounding land uses, future land use designations, and nearly all lots in this neighborhood are smaller than the proposed request. Therefore, staff supports this request and recommends approval. Okay. Thank you. And with this one, do we have any <clears throat> further the, questions? I guess I'm looking at the survey, this proposed lot line. What, what are the setbacks? The, these need to be revised. I've already spoken to the surveyor, but we did just want to show you to give you a rough idea. But um, both are going to have to shift slightly because they don't meet the five foot setback right now. The one um, with the shed um, on the right, um, again, needs to shift five feet um, to the left. And then um, same with the other one. It doesn't currently meet setback. Do I need to state my name again? Um, I can. Michael Short, 184 um, Chapman Road, Greenville. <laughs> um, so for the um, with the shed, we'll just we'll be relocating the shed. So um, it's just a it's not on a foundation or anything. So we'll get that over. And then yes, on the other lot, um, that survey would have to be revised just to comply with setbacks. Y'all plan on just zigzagging that line back there to keep the square footage? That's correct. Close to half. <clears throat> we would probably it ended up being about 0.16 acres versus 0.17, which is shown right there. And so, were we aware that the surveys were off before they came before us tonight? They're not off. This is what a house looks like when it doesn't get surveyed before it gets built. <laughs> yeah. the, the survey on record we have one on record that's accurate we won't sign the subdivision plat which is these images until they revise it to meet setbacks but before this goes to council they'll have the correct revised I would imagine yes just since it's January but typically we don't even show council the subdivision so but yes we can make sure they update that it won't get approved and recorded before it gets correct okay all right any further questions for staff or uh, the applicant move to approve second we have a motion and a second for approval let's vote sorry was that mr. lavender and then mr. Jones yes. okay yes. thank you uh, mrs. Jones Yes. Mr. Asserno? Yes. Mr. Lavender? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Booker? Yes. Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Holland? <coughs> yes. All right, contact staff for next steps. Uh, we will now uh, move on to new business RZ23-14. Okay, uh, this parcel is located at 501 New Woodruff Road and the request is to rezone to MD, medium density residential. Again, the aerial and the current zoning Existing site, surrounding land use is primarily residential. The request is compatible with surrounding land uses and future land use designations. Therefore, staff supports the request. Okay. Well, the two houses that are on this property now, are they, is that new construction? No, those are existing. They had a grandfathered um, designation as they predated the current commercial zoning. And the applicant stated that there was no power on right. these houses at this point? Yeah, I believe they'd both been condemned and permits weren't pulled within 90 days, so they lost their grandfather status. So that's why they're having to rezone to residential if they want to continue this use. Okay. But he talked about putting more units, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Applicant, come, come back up to the podium, please. You will state your name and address again for the record. Angel Cardona, 128 Sheldon Drive from Sparnberg. Um, yeah, we did talk about it. So um, before we, we did do some like commercial planning, but the cost is just too high. And um, so that's why we've instead decided let's do a small little house, or not small houses, but normal residential houses, three bedroom, two bathrooms. In addition to these. Mm -hmm. So. Are you planning to tear these two houses down or bring them up to code? I'll probably bring them up to code. 
What, what is the medium density? Is it, I mean, what is, I don't know, for new? Would you like to know the permitted uses or the lot standards? Like the minimum. Yes. Yeah, what are we? I guess are we going to be subdividing this in the future? Yeah. What are yes. we buying into? Uh, so for medium density for de oh, there we go. Um, for detached units, the lot area minimum is four thousand square feet, and for attached, so like townhomes, it would be two thousand square feet. Parcel size is how many acres? Is yeah, it? and the density is 17.5 uh, dwelling units per acre. So that very well may limit it for the lot area minimum would. What is the size of that parcel? No. 1.859 acres. Okay. But the two, two existing houses are going to limit the options, correct? Because, yeah. Well, they're kind of on the side. And I mean, there's going to need to be a site grading plan and everything. Yeah, with new driveway by DOT, most likely. Yeah. Okay, so that's why it's coming for us because he's got to pull building permits. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whatever he does in the future has got to come technically. Before. He says about the property coming for of us again in any way, so. Have you been working on the houses already? No, no. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. We have a motion and a second for approval. Let's vote. Ms. Jones? Yes. Mr. Asserno? Yes. Mr. Lavender? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Booker? Yes. Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Holland? Yes. All right, contact staff for next steps. Um, I believe that concludes our new business tonight. So, uh, other business, planning and zoning staff report. Sure. Um, thank you to those of you who attended um, the annual board appreciation luncheon. Always nice to see you and thank you for your work over the year. Um, as you probably noticed during the zoning um, tonight that the UDO was adopted by City Council on second reading with um, one amendment regarding window signage um, late last month. Um, so those regulations and zoning districts are now in place moving forward. We do, of course, have a few kind of projects in limbo that were submitted under the old codes. Um, so while they move through the process, they will um, continue to be grandfathered in under those standards. Um, but anything submitted after that 28th date for permits, plats, um, or projects will be subject to all the UDO standards. Um, and lastly, we will um, send you a copy of the 2024 calendar. Um, and your next meeting is January 22nd. Typically, it is the third Monday of the month, but that is a holiday. Um, so we'll have that meeting on the 22nd. That's all I've got. Okay. Um, are we planning to meet in December next year? Because I know this is the second year, I think, that we've done this. Mm -hmm. So are y'all working the calendar up to plan to meet next year in December? Really up to you. We were planning to. Well, no, I mean, that's, I mean, personally, that's fine with me. I mean, I, I don't know if we, do we need to discuss that as a board? I mean, it's on the agenda tonight. We're getting busy. we're, we're not, getting we're busier. Not that calendar or not? You know the the, the city's right. getting busier and busier every year, and you know there was we could hold stuff over years ago. But personally, I think we should meet if if you know everybody wants to do that. But I'm going to leave that up to to the board. Yeah, all seven of us made it tonight. I don't have a problem. It's true. Okay, so everybody's good with. Meeting in December, Miss Jones. <laughs> I'm retired. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Other than our January meeting, um, I have not looked at the calendar next year. Is is any other holiday going to throw us off from meeting our third Monday of the month? I believe we also moved February, right? Yes, MLK. 
Yes, I believe we moved February for MLK Day as well. Okay. So it will be one week later, but then all the rest fall on the third. All right. What's the January holiday? Um, President's, President's Day. Day. Okay. That one's right. MLK. Oh, MLK. Or am I backwards? No, I think you're I backwards. I might be backwards. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. MLK yeah. is January. President. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Right. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, uh, uh, lunch was very nice. We'll thank you for hosting us again this year. I believe the Planning Commission had uh, the most attendees of any of the boards in, in the city, so I'd like to congratulate you folks for that. <laughs> and uh, the ones of you that didn't make it, uh, you missed a nice meal and a nice time. So, mm -hmm. uh, any other business before us before we uh, close out the year? Mayor Chris, move to adjourn. We have a motion for adjournment. We stand adjourned.